Hey guys, Philippe here. So I'd just like to leave you a little message, uh, post video recording message. And uh, basically, I've just finished recording everything uh, for the DLL injection. And I'd uh, just like to let you know it was a bit longer than I expected it to be. Um, it ends up being about two and a half hours long from the start of the video to the end of it. Uh, but it has everything to do with DLL injection, and that's a very important part of game hacking if you're going to do that. Uh, I'll explain that throughout the video, obviously. Um, I go into quite a bit of detail, not incredible detail but quite a bit um, and you learn everything to do with um, putting GL, uh, DLLs into uh, an application we're going to do our own injector and the DLL as well separately and uh, pretty much this is everything you need to hack your own game um, obviously I know some people aren't up for the two and a half hours but um, if you really are interested in this I guarantee you you follow the tutorial and you do things half as decent as I will and um, you'll end up with a good program and you'll know uh, what to do for your own games and everything like that so I'd just like to leave you with this um, and uh, I recommend you take a couple breaks throughout because it is two and a half hours but that's fully up to you obviously so I hope you enjoy this so um, you know just um, if you enjoy this kind of stuff then s please sub that would be great um, to my current subscribers you'll be having more of this uh, soon uh, I'm thinking of doing maybe some main bots and cams as well soon but that's not guaranteed yet um, yeah, so I'll leave you this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Hello there, guys. So I'm back now, and uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to do the DLL injection tutorial. Now, what we're doing here is we're doing everything from scratch, as usual. Um, but what we're doing this time is the very, not very difficult, if you've done it before, of course. It'll be fairly easy for you. But for, for those of you starting, the ones you did, the uh, hopefully you did my um, my trainer the previous one or maybe you've done my C sharp one as well either way it's fine um, if you come in here out of nowhere and you're new at this I recommend you go to the first tutorial out of these so check the playlist out go back to the first tutorial and then get the pointers and stuff um, so that you know you're ready for this if you're starting this out of nowhere you won't understand half of this and it'll just be confusing so what we're doing today is that first thing I want to do is I want to show you what this does. So this is our injector here. I left our injector to be very simple and stuff. I didn't want to make it difficult. So we're going to run our game now. So hopefully I don't get much lag uh, out of this. So as you can see, um, if you pause that, have a read of that if you like. So this is our injector here, and as you can see, it's got a few, quite a few more hacks than our um, our thing he had. Our um, our first one had so this one you've got you've got ammo you've got health you've got no time between shots which is basically rapid fire you've got no recoil kickback this game is nasty for recoil if you can see looking at me shooting that's just like one whole round it just goes flying um, and it's got all guns automatic so as you can see the pistol you need to constantly click and all guns automatic makes snipers shotguns pistols uh, you just hold mouse and it just shoots like hell so let me think what I got. I got to make sure I cover everything. So, um, just having to read at that. So, those are all features. I'll start by showing you a couple of them. So, f as you can see, I'm shooting here. So, I'm going to do freeze ammo. And as we go along, I'll give you a few options. I mean, I'll let you do a little bit of you know what you like. So, if I freeze ammo, right? I've pressed F1. Um, as you'll see, ammo won't stand still as I'm shooting. It will actually increase instead of instead of decreasing. So, I shoot. See, as you can see there. Let's turn it off. Here you go, decreasing again turn it on increasing again so what I did is I went in memory and what I'm doing is I changed an instruction I'll go I'll take you through this um, as we do it but I changed an instruction instead of decrementing ammo I went through a debugger and I said increment instead of decrementing so and then I stored that and I put it into code and then that's how we got to where we are now DLLs are what pretty much every decent hack has. Not many people use external hacks because they're not as effective. They're just as easy to get caught with, um, but that's a total different subject. So there's almost the same chance you're going to get caught with a hack that is external as well as because games have hooks for injection of DLLs. So we inject a DLL because um, that allows us to get into the program's memory. We don't have to ex access that memory from outside. We can simply just um, all the memory becomes shared. So the memory being used. So for example, if I close the game now, the DLL is, it will close itself. I'll show you later on. But basically, they share memory, which means from the DLL we can easily access and use some very 
easy to use uh, functions so instead of write process memory we'll be using something called M memcopy which is uh, the same thing pretty much except we're doing it from within and that as well allows us to do a few more things um, without um, having to access from outside and you'll, f you'll find that this is quite useful so a few things I did um, everything I've done here is different except the health the health is exactly the same as the um, as the one done in the console trainer and I'll show you that so um, as I said if you come in here out of nowhere then I recommend you go back to the first tutorial now something else what you can see right here um, I recommend you have annotations on because I have a few useful things for you guys to see on the way through um, something um, that I'll have so make sure you get annotations on because I'll probably have a um, a list of games that I'll hack so for example I haven't done them yet but I'll do them and I'll put some annotations up with some, some links that way you can check and they'll open in a new window so you can click on them check them out and then come back and uh, I'll do a, a couple of games that, so you guys know that it doesn't work just for this game this method works for any game pretty much as long as it's not a server sided game then it will work just fine so if it's something like uh, Call of Duty and even then it will often work for certain things um, Call of Duty is um, a client sided game um, a lot of stuff out there pretty much everything uh, almost everything nowadays is a console port and that makes it very easy to hack so uh, what I'm going to do is now is going to freeze my health and as I said this is the exact same thing as the previous one so if I unfreeze it I go back to 100 and so on um, and then I can say uh, no time between shots so as you can see click here and as you can see I get huge amounts of recoil because I'm shooting if you look at my ammo I'm getting loads of rounds per second because I've also got uh, freeze ammo which increases it instead of decreasing and later on I'll give you a choice you can either freeze the ammo so when you shoot it doesn't do anything or you can um, increase it instead so if you like so some games will give you that choice because all you're doing is you're reversing something so as you can see I've got tons of recoil so I want to get rid of the recoil so let's press F4 and I'm shooting tons so the gun hides I can shoot loads of rounds per second so I'm going to start a multiplayer game against the bots so let's put them at their best 16 times yeah so um, as you can see me here so I'm just going to kill a couple of my teammates it doesn't really matter as you can see I'm shooting tons of rounds per second now um, as you can see the pistol you can't do that with a pistol I am shooting um, but it only shoots around out round at once. That's because it's not an automatic gun. Um, so if we just press F5, as you can see, I'm shooting tons of rounds per second because we made the pistol. So I'm going to get rid of the no time between shots because that is kind of annoying. So as you can see, the pistol is automatic by itself. Um, no recoil whatsoever. So let's turn recoil on quickly. Turn it off again. Turn it on. And there's not only kick recoil, but there's also some kickback. So I'll show you that. So as you can see, I'm jumping. Let's just turn it off. Boom absolutely no recoil which makes it incredibly easy to kill enemies and so on I'm just gonna kill a few of these guys so I can show you but as I said make sure you check your annotations um, and uh, check out I'm sure Call of Duty will be there at least one of them either Black Ops Zombies or anything like that because those are very easy to hack um, if you can hack this game and you learn the or you get the idea of what I'm teaching you then you should be able to hack uh, Black Ops or Modern Warfare 3 anything like that now as I said earlier, so if you haven't seen my previous tutorials, um, as usual, I take no responsibility for what you do. So if you go into um, Modern Warfare 3 game and you, st you inject a DLL into it or whatever, and then you uh, hack it, uh, basically there's a high chance you're going to get VAC banned if you don't have any sort of protection, like um, similar to VAC Chaos. Now I'm not greatly into that, and I'm not really experienced with any sort of memory spoofing techniques. So those are things that basically tell VAC that you're not cheating, even though you are, because they've got their own safety measures and so on. Now, games uh, in games like Black Ops Zombies and Spec Ops and all that single player, you'll never get VAC banned on, which is a good thing. Um, but in games like this one, you can play online, you can cheat and stuff. So feel free to use these cheats online. I haven't tested them. Uh, because I I just don't like the whole idea of cheating against other people online. Kind of stupid, I guess, if you're doing cheats. But it doesn't really matter. So I don't want to go too much into detail. I'm going to just waste you guys' time too much. So I just want you to get the idea that this, if you can hack a game using this method, you can hack any game. Because we're going to create, um, like I said to you, this allows us to share the program's memory, the game's memory in our case. And um, that way we can do everything from within. So... Um, you know a, a ton of functions um, and like I said I won't be focusing um, 
there's certain things I won't be going in too much detail with, uh, but I'll try and be as in depth, at least on the relevancy side of things. So I'll try and be um, accurate about what I'm talking to you about. I'll let you know when I'm not sure about something, so you can check that out yourself. But feel free to double check everything I tell you, because I guess that's the best way of doing things. So as you can see, I've got pretty much everything. So I'm gonna turn on the um, no time between shots so I can shoot loads of times per second. You see how fast I take these guys out. So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to put a sniper rifle on and you'll see what happens once I've got unlimited fire. So I'm going to turn my unlimited health off and let them kill me. There you go. So let me turn my health back on. As you can see here, so I, if you look at that, so I'm going to turn unlimited fire off. So as you can see, um, I can just hold mouse and it'll keep shooting, something that won't happen before. Now if I turn F3 and F5 on, this is what I can do, and you can see I can tear through these guys really quickly. So you can do that. And uh, some of these bots will acquire, uh, you might notice this when you do it, some of these bots will acquire the skills we've got, but that's because they're bots in an actual game, because we're modifying our, our memory, right? We're actually modifying our program's memory, so some of them will have some things like um, yeah, as you can see, they've got rapid fire as well. That's because we're sharing memory here, and these guys are sharing the same instruction that I've um, basically blocked so that we can do unlimited shooting. So they can shoot just as fast as I can. Now, in an online game, that will never be the case because every player's got their own memory and so on. Um, and as you can see there, so I'm just going to turn this off. So if I turn, uh, let's say, guns automatic off, I can just basically just spam left click and just go shooting kill all these I think that's a better thing to do no recoil also helps quite a lot when you're using the sniper but anyways I'll let you guys test that out yourselves so um, what we're gonna start by doing is um, I'm gonna need you this is an application I told I didn't actually ask you to download in the first one because it wasn't relevant to those console trainer guys um, what I'm gonna ask you to do is download an application called Ollie debug so I'll tell I'll show you the name here um, so uh, let's just have a look here. So it's called Ollie Debug. So you go Ollie Debug. That's how it goes. And then you go here, and I recommend you download the version one point whatever. So I'm going to close this and just have a look at the DLL here. It will be quickly closed as I close that. See, they immediately share the same place in memory, and the application takes over the DLL. So. <clears throat> so as you can see here, just download this. Let's see where the download is. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So yeah, there's a few of them. There's 110 and so on. I recommend you do like 110. That should be alright. As you can see, I downloaded it. I'm going to cancel it because I don't want it. I've already got it. So then make a, a folder on your desktop and um, like this one here and just put all your stuff in there and put all your files in there. So let me have a look at my instructions here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Um, as I said earlier, make sure you check your screen. I mean, they might still be on your annotations, probably won't be. Um, so you can check other games like COD and so on. I've already told you that. Um, and if you come in here out of nowhere, just go back to the first one. I recommend you do that if you actually want to follow the tutorials. Um, yeah, so let's start our program then. So, first thing we're going to do, let me just close this. First thing, that's part of the game, that will always come up. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to start a new program. Let me close my... Should I close it? No, it's fine. Leave it. So we're going to start a new program. So a new project. All right. And we're going to go for a Win32 console application. Now, we don't really care what the um, injector looks like. Um, all that is going to do is uh, inject our DLL into the program so we can mess with it. Um, our DLL is the thing that's actually going to look nice because that's our interface and so on. So. What I'm going to call this, I'm going to call mine um, DLL Injector. Okay? And this can actually inject any DLL out there, not just our own. So you, all you need to do is tweak a couple of things. Now, if you guys want to do a um, your own version of that DLL later on with a nice interface and stuff, then feel free, that's up to you. Um, so choose empty project, right? Because we want to do everything from scratch. Okay? And make sure it's a console application. And then, if you don't have your Solution Explorer coming up, go View Solution Explorer, click down this arrow, and then go right click there, Add New Item. And we're going to do our main.c. So just call that main. Okay. And um, yeah, so let's start this stuff then. So, first thing we're going to do is going to go include 
open those thingies, which I'm not actually sure what they're called. Uh, they're right next to your M, should be anyway. And we're going to go for IO Stream. Now, in C++, if you haven't done this before, IO Streams will allow us to output text into the screen and do a bunch of other stuff. Then include uh, Windows.h, because that is going to be necessary for our handles and stuff. Then we're going to go for 